Live again, Sunday organizing, why not keep doing it? Welcome everybody, hopefully you guys are all coming on, want to spend another Sunday afternoon with me. Like I said, you guys like these live videos, I'll give them to you even back to back within an hour or so, right? So I went through, I was putting away all the, some of the extra 2020 Hot Wheels models that I wanted to incorporate into the collection and as I was going through I had a bunch of stuff that either I had extras of and I have a bunch of cases that I also house some of my extras, some that I eventually want to get rid of. You know, I mentioned that I do, I don't want to have a lot of extras, but there are some castings that I think are really cool that are part of the collection that I have some extras from video showcases or whatever. And so I want to figure out which ones to keep and which ones not to. We're going to focus on Hot Wheels, although you'll see some Matchbox in here. We'll get to all that stuff later. So we're going to do this again. I'm glad to have you guys with me. This one should be fun because not only are we going to be talking about some 2020 models, but I think you're going to see some really cool old stuff. Um from previous portions of the collection. I mean, like, we're talking really cool old stuff. You just never know. You never know what's in here. I've gotten rid of a lot of extras in the past. I My goal is not to have a lot of extra cars. Um, but um, there are some I like to keep to bring out, and you'll see what I got here. So I am going to go through. What I want to do is I'm going to gonna give you a sense of, of I kind of keep extra basics together. There's a couple premiums. I like to separate those. And then I like to keep some extra premiums. Oh, look, there's some Auto World. I have to extract that. And then I have some of these premiums here. You can see some of them are fairly recent. But I do like to keep some premium extras. And let's see, I've got some. These are more Japanese stuff. And you can see there's some gaps here. So I'm going to go through those. Dotson right here. Honda Civic. So we'll go through that. More Japanese cars. Some European cars. I have room if you're letting, if you go, I'm so like, here's the deal guys. I have so many loose cars. One day I'll go out to my garage where I filmed before. It's just too cold right now. I have, I think about 25 to 30 of these cases full of extras, loose extras. And I'm in the process of organizing them to sell. Um, this one. Okay. So this one is also premium right here. And then, I mean, there's some stuff that like, those are extras um this we're not going to get into because they have a little bit of a special purpose so we'll talk about those another time but these are well i can talk about it i i will these were sent to me to preview but they ended up being feps so these are premium feps i guess it's okay to say that um that i've showcased over the years and i've tried to keep those together in case they're needed elsewhere and then just some more extras People have asked about that car. That's coming later. Um, so anyway, so let's go through these and then I'm gonna add, so I think what we'll do is consolidate the basics and the premiums. So let's go through here. And like I said, this is, if you wanna join me, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and consolidate all the premiums first. And these I'm going to not worry about because they're not ones that I well, this one is. No, actually no. Those I'm, I plan on getting rid of. So I'm going to put those over here. You can kind of see how I collect. And then, um, let's see, let's pull out any premiums here. I don't think there are any on that side. And I don't cons consider the speed machines, so I'm going to premium. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Don't see any premiums. Someone wants the ridge line. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, okay, we have a bunch of premium here. I gotta get rid of those outer world, put them somewhere else. But that's okay, I'll find space for those later. So let's, in fact, we're gonna need to see, and then we have some basics here. So let's extract these premiums as well. kind of stuff it's so nerdy but if you're a collector you organize right that's just something you do just what we do and so I'm speaking the language you guys can say yeah I watched a guy organize his collection for 45 minutes or whatever people will be like are you nuts you can say yep 
I'm a Hot Wheels collector. I'm nuts by definition. Um, all right. So basic, 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 basic. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Wish I had another case that I could empty out. So let's. This one's pretty close. So let's get these basics out too. When you're dealing with extras, you can kind of push them around a little bit. So we're just gonna pull these out. We're gonna figure out which ones to keep, which ones to put in the like get rid of pile. Um, which ones are too many extras, all that kind of stuff. Some of these I've opened up, probably, I don't realize that I have them, so I already opened them up, right? So that's what happens too a lot of times. There is quite the mess that we're creating here. Try and look at your comments when I'm doing, what am I doing with the extras? Well, that's the whole question, right? Okay. So put this off to the side right here. We're going to go through all the premiums to try and put them together. I'm going to make sure I don't have any other premiums in these piles here. So a lot of the extras I'm going to, hopefully they'll be in your hands at some point. These are matchbox. Yeah, these are all matchbox. So that one, I'm just going to over here and there's an angry dog okay someone's asking about these cases i mentioned this in the last video these are called creative options thread organizers so they're supposed to hold spools of thread but they also work perfectly for toy cars and they've marketed them as such but that's how they do it now okay so premium stuff i'm just gonna right now i'm just gonna kind of put them Put them aside. So this one I'm going to actually put to the side. It's got this bent wheel. So I'm just going to, oops, for a customizer or something who might want it. But this one I can add. I might organize it later, but premium extras. Let's see. Porsche. Rally. Koenigsegg. We're just putting them here to see what we got first, make some space. Oh, I got two of these. See, this is what happens. I have two of the Lancia. Here, let's get some better light here. Two of the Lancia. Okay. Other premiums, do you see? Oh, we, oh, we got this one. Premium. Thought I had others, what am I? You guys seeing any other premiums here? Okay, we'll put those off to the side. I've had another case full of them. Oh, well, no, let's see. I'm missing one because I know I had another case full of like see this is fun of organizing give me a second guys I'm gonna keep looking
Aha, found it. Yeah. <laughs> Knew I had some. All right. Okay, see, now I now we're really talking here because I knew I had some other premium stuff. So, um, okay. So we're going to we're going to do it this way. I'm going to hold this here for a second. You'll see some cool stuff here in a second. All right. And let's go, let's start with Porsches. Let's, we're going to do this way. Porsche. You see any other Porsches? We'll pull some of these down. See, I already put them up. Now I'm taking them down again. That's what organizing is, right? So let's find all of the Porsches. Make some space for any premium Porsches. This is from the pile of extras. So I'm looking, I've got my thing open. My other one. Okay, here's one. See, we're getting some cool stuff here. Modern classics. <clears throat> Another car culture. Okay, you guys ready? How about that? The old boulevard. Got a couple of those. Try to look and see if there's any others here. Premium Porsches, yep. Magnus Walker. I think that might be it for now. All right, so those are all the premium Porsches I've gotten. I'm looking, trying to keep all the rest of these separate. I'm just trying to look over here to make sure I don't have any others that might be included. We're just going to keep it real simple. Okay. So then we could just do rally cars, right? So we have the two launches. We can put the RS 200 there. And I think I'll put the super van there too, because it just seems to make sense. And while we're at it, we can do Fords. So let's look for all the Ford premiums, see if I have any others. Yep, got this one from Forza. Or no, is that Forza or Gran Turismo? Gran Turismo. Fast and Furious Escort. Any of the Fords? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm not seeing. Good there. Okay. So then we could go Acura. I think that's probably the only one. Um, BMW. Let's look for BMW. Actually, you know what? Let's do, because that's the only Koenigs. Like I have the other red one, but I have them together because they're variations. So we're going to keep that like that. Um, yeah, let's do BMW now. That was from Forza, right? That one was Forza. I think that's all on the BMWs, but it would make sense then to add... Alfa Romeo while we're staying in Europe. Oh wait, forgot a BMW, so I'll put that one here. Oh yeah. And while we're still in Europe, we can go Ferrari. I don't have too many more premium Ferraris. Fiat. Okay, that's done right there. We got that one finished. We'll get to Japanese cars here in a minute, but we've still got some European stuff to do. So put that down. 
close this one up. I'm gonna have to move this here. Yeah, so I'm saying there's more, more premium BMW. That's true, but I, these are just extras. This is not a complete collection. I've got, you know, all these cars, these are all rep, uh, duplicates of stuff that's already in the, uh, on the wall displays. You know, I can... See, you've got like, like that. I already have another one in the wall display, see? And then I have these. I don't know if you can see back down there, but you know, I have quite. I have everything's already up this way. So, all right. Okay, so that's that. Let's go. I think we wanted to do Mercedes still. So we've got this guy. Let's see what else we've got. So some of these I will end up keeping just because I like the car so much and it's nice to have extras. There's a Mercedes. And then of course, maybe my all-time favorite Hot Wheels at this point was the Skyline Wagon, but it might be that 190E. I like that one a ton. All right. Oh, we have one more American car, so we'll add that one. That was one of my favorites of this year, of 2020. And let's see if there's any other European slash American cars to add. I don't think so. Okay, so we can start going Japanese now. So, go Sylvia. S14. Got a few of these. Let's see if I have any others to add. No, but I have S15s. Then we can do R33. Oh, let's do the R32s. Got a couple of those. Who loves this one? I sure do. One eighty SX. All right, so then we can yeah, we can probably well actually let's do this. Put these together. We'll add the one eighty SX right here because it makes a ton of sense. Now R thirty three. I don't know if I have any R thirty fours in here. I have a bunch of other Skylines that I'll have to add. Nope, no R thirty fours. So then we but we can add. We can start going into the other Skylines I have. So we've got. Some from the original Japan Historics. Uh, Nismo R34 Transfer. I don't think I have an extra one of those, Lena. I think I just put them in there. Here's a wagon. You can notice, look at it. It's got a broken... See that? It's got a broken pillar. There on the back. Um, any more? Let's see. Oh, no. We're not doing Datsuns. Why did I pull it out? We're doing Skylines. Any other Skylines? Ah, Skyline Wagon, we can definitely add that one. That's another all-timer for me. Another all-timer, really good one. <clears throat> and then I think since we're done with those, we can add the Laurel. I don't think I pulled any extras of those others. And then we can, yeah, we can get to some Dotsons, I think. Or, you know, because we don't have as many. Let's go Mazda. Or, you no, know what? We'll do, we'll do Nissans. So, so, I have a couple of their Nissans. I got that Nissan truck. That makes sense to put there. Dotson, Dotson, Dotson. Oh, forgot this one. Boulevard Skyline. So that... We can do this. OK, 
Okay, there we go. I think we're good on those premiums. So then we would have to add, why not, RX-7. I can't see that one, and then I have this other RX-7. Trey Love, I can't find that number two Advent Team Transfer anywhere because it's not out yet. It'll be out soon. Okay, so that one is done. Like totally full, so let's close that up. So there we go, so we have a full extra case of premium. So that what we'll do is we'll put that here on my side display here, and then let's start consolidating some more. I got some cars here, here, and here. So we should go, we finished off with those Mazdas, so let's go put this in the shot for you guys. So we can go Datsun now, so we could go wagon. So we've got one of my extra Boulevard wagons. There's a store, I want to get some more of that Juna Mai one from the Nissan set, and there's a store in a town that I live in that still has those Nissan sets on the shelf, and some of them are beat up. I wonder if I could get them to sell them to me at a discount. I don't know, let's see. Okay, Advan, wagon, and then remember this 50th anniversary wagon. I had a store that sold they were clearancing them and they sold me, I think, 20 of these for 99 cents each. Um, <clears throat> isn't that crazy? All right, so then we can go the actual Datsun 510. I have two of those. I don't know how I ended up with two of them. But obviously, I may probably sell one. There's this uh, 50 car, whatever, display one. And then Team Transport have an extra one of those. And then any other Datsuns? Yeah, the Datsun truck. I think that's it. So then we can add, we can go Toyota. So I have the Toyota 2000 GT. I've got the, I've got that one from Japan Historics. And I have the convertible. We've only seen once from James Bond, right? So we can add that. A86 premium, which is fantastic. We'll add that one. That one's fairly new. And then why not put the Bug Eye Subaru from... Boulevard, or not Boulevard, from Car Culture together with the 22B. Nice to see those two together, right? And then finally, this is an extra, but I'll, and I'll probably end up selling it. It's the uh, S2000 from the convention. Premium S2000. I already have a couple of these open. I think I have. Let me look. Yep. That might be a little bit of flexing, but Oh, well, I have one carded too, which I'm going to sell. So, because I, <clears throat> I don't want any carded cars anymore. So that one will go right there. Okay. So if I have to add some more premium to that later, I will. Where do I get the cases from? Whoever wants to answer can, because I mention it a lot. So this one, okay. I'm just, I'm at this point with these basics. I'm just gonna probably just consolidate. I'm just gonna start putting them together. So I'm looking at your guys's comments here. See if there's anything. Does my wife make me keep it? What are we talking about? Um, all right, so you can see here, I have tried to keep it somewhat organized, Honda, Mazda, all this stuff, but I'm really not going to worry too much about that because it'll just take too long. But you can see a bunch of other stuff if you, uh, if you want to see them. So it's like, uh, like, well, let's see, Honda Civic and try and fill this in, right? So if we're going... Honda Civic. Oops. Let's see if I can find any other Hondas to throw in here. Is 
where it comes becomes kind of fun. Just looking around, but see, you guys don't want to just oh yeah, we could put those preludes right that I didn't need to add to the regular collection. We can put those in there. I think that might be it. I'll probably find others later on, but that's okay. Mazdas, looks like we have a couple of those. Look, these are the variations, right? No, oh, yeah, see, NGK on one, not on the other. I think that was pretty straightforward. Like, meaning it was about 50 50 in the variation there. Another Mazda, this is the treasure hunt. You can see the symbol. I know they did a super this year, but uh, it's also been a regular. Let's see, that would also mean we could add, if we're doing more um, Mazdas, I have a bunch of RX-7s, RX, no, that's Porsche RX-7. So we can move these down. And then we have those. And Mongas, we'll keep them there. So there's Mazda. Got a bunch of these Kmart ones. I kind of went crazy on the Kmart ones. They showed up in stores at one point. Let's see, do I have the blue one too here? Look, another Kmart one. One of them I took the chrome off of it too. So I think I have the blue one some somewhere else. So then since we have... Actually, you know what? I'm going to... No, that's fine. No, that's what I'm going to do. I have those tuned. There we go. Oh, got another one here. I like those a lot. Looking around, looking, oh, and I have this, maybe we can, nope. <laughs> Just keep on going, there we go. There we go. So, Honda, Mazda. Put the Toyota 86 there. I think that might be it in terms of those. And then why not just doing it let's uh see this is where you start thinking you just don't need to think how about i have one infinity with the 10 spokes so we'll put that right there that makes sense okay you turn this around you can see it's kind of a hodgepodge i don't think i have any other ken mary's to add there but So Dotson truck, we can add that. We can fill in that. See, now I just got to start just going for it. See if there's any other skylines to add. Another Dotson truck. See, there we go. That's done. Okay, see now we got see another Honda there. See, just not terribly well organized, but there's another Mazda. But who cares? We're done. We'll, we'll, we'll take out the Porsches and the Ferraris and we'll keep with the 
Japanese car theme, right? So let's just start adding, see how unorganized as this one is. We'll just keep adding Japanese cars. How about this Skyline that lost its spoiler? Kind of like that one, another R34, another R35, R35, R35. And those dots, you don't see those down there, but that one's done. Oh, we gotta get rid of those auto worlds. We're gonna get rid of, we're gonna pull them out and I'll find another spot for them later. Here, we'll move this back so you guys can see it better. You guys finding these right in stores right now? I've seen them. I'm waiting for the Supra to come out, which should be soon. Okay, let's just add Japanese cars while we're here. JDM Legend 620. I have tons of these, but I'm always, I love that Pearl White Z. R32. For some reason I have two R32s. I have another Z. Japanese, Japanese. R34 that I went with the, I pulled the chrome off those wheels. That's about as far as I go on customs. Not too ambitious. Dots in the Momo. Should probably add the wagon to that too. Another R32. And then look at this, another white R32. So when the time comes, I'm going to go through some of these and I'll do like a, I think what I'll probably do, nine pack Dotson is uh, do lots of like, here's a group of R32s. Oh, here's the Z again, but I can add the Subies because I have all the 22 Bs. I could add Sylvia there. Is that all the Japanese stuff? Might be. Okay, so we're good on that. We're good on all the Japanese cars, so I can, I'll do this. I wanna keep those Subis together, so. And let's just start going. I guess we could go Porsche. Actually, no, let's go everything but Porsche. We got Bugatti. I think I have a Zamac here somewhere. Yep. Put that Zamac Bugatti in there. Koenigsegg, I don't care about. I'm going to put that somewhere else. I guess we could put the Ford GT right there, the speed machines. Put the Ford, um, whatever, what is this one called? This is the Falcon. The Xbox One. I have a handful of Ferraris, so I won't add those, but I can, oh, I can add... This one, no, I don't care about that. I don't want that one. I'll put the Volvo wagons in there though. The red one, I had an extra one I already opened. The racing one, dig those. I really like the speed tail, so I'll add that. Done. Okay. Okay, last, oh, no, so this is, all right, so now I need to actually, see so I have some more here, I gotta get these matchbox you can disregard, but some of these are some extras that I wanted to keep too, but I've also designated this one to be my next super treasure hunt case, so I need to put one more, I need to put that blue Z in there, so let's do that. So the way it goes is these will run this way. Actually, they'll run opposite, but the super treasure hunts will run like this first, second, third, and then we'll put what's the RX-7 here. And it will be, they'll be in supers and then on the other side will be their basics opposite. Does that make sense? I've shown you guys, I showed you guys this in the last one. This is how I do it. And I'll show you an older one. So I gotta pull those out, but like, here it is. These are the supers. So that's probably, well, I probably won't organize this part with you guys because 
sure it's gonna but here are the this is from what a couple of years ago and i think this is where i started with the dots and then you go through all of these and you can see there's even that special edition bone shaker and then from a couple of years ago these supers from 2000 was 2019 started here this was 2018 and then you see they'll have their basics on the other side so i've always got these together pretty cool right and then so where we are now move these over here i'll have to figure out what to do with these extra cars this is the most current one continuing 2019 and then starting with 2020 and i've already worked through and the other ones are i've got all the others right here most recent down and i haven't done the 2019 right so or the 2020 yet 21 sorry and so and you can see those basics are right here and so they'll be matched with their supers so that's how i keep myself organized actually to know like if i ever need to reference these for a video or a blog post or an instagram post or anything i know where they are so it's kind of fun to do it that way it is nice to be organized like that. So it just happened that the last super ended on the last one of 2020. So I'm starting 2021 totally from scratch with uh, wherever that one went. Wherever I put it, I don't remember. Where did I put it? Oh well. Isn't that funny? You're working with something and then you just put it aside and then it's gone. Oh, here it is. Boom. So that will start, you know, RX, RX7 and then I can't remember what the other one. I know there's a Porsche and a Mustang. Some others I can't say, but will eventually be unveiled, I'm sure. So, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of lives. Okay, so that, I think we went through the premiums. That was kind of fun. Hopefully you guys saw that, enjoyed that. I'm pretty well organized. Got a few things I'm just going to throw in a bin. And those loose cars, I'm, I'm just figuring out what my extras are. I'm going to have to go through some of these. Figure out what I'm going to do with them. And then I'll do some Matchbox stuff, too. So. Can't wait to see the Bugatti Super. When you plan to list these on eBay. I may list them on eBay, but I probably most likely will list them on the Lamley Store. Which is lamleystore.com. And it'll be all loose stuff. So. And I'll try and put them in lots. I don't know. We'll see how. I haven't totally organized my thoughts. But um, there's some cool cars here. Jared's excited for the Bugatti Premium. Yeah, it'll look cool. It's going to look really cool. So Chris is saying hi from Canada. Ignacio will find that Super Treasure Hunt. Roger Dodger. Good luck. Hope you do. Double diecast found a couple of Devos. I'll be after the Indy 500 Oval Super when you sell. I won't be selling that. I'm keeping all of the older Super. Let's see, where is that one? So I've got like... Here, this is kind of an extra... So I'm not exactly sure. I don't think this is terribly organized here, but here's some of the older Supers. Batmobile, Ford GT, Moon Eyes, which is a great one. This Camaro. And then I think, yeah, there's some other, I don't know where that Indy 500 is. I guess these are some extra Batmobiles that I had. See, you never know what you... Oh, here's some more. So 
some older supers. It's the Indy, nope. Camaro there. Falcon. S2000, another Falcon. Skyline. Ferrari. 599 XX, that's a good one, right? And then over here. How about that guy? That guy. Some good ones, right? That guy. You said the Indy 500 is on the oval. Be oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, you're right. You're right. I wasn't even looking at it. Yeah, because I was really doing... There it is right there. I was doing my... This is where I really started. So having this collection... I don't see myself selling this, my little matching supers, which I started in 2018. I just don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So that will probably stay in. If I ever did that, I'd probably just sell the entire set as a loose thing. And who knows if there would be heavy bidding on it or not. But I doubt I would break that up. So some of these maybe if I don't want them. Obviously, these are part of my permanent collection too. That's a great one there right there. So those will stay with me too combi i don't think you can see it there it is the combi right there so but i do have a couple carded of these that i might put up for sale including a smooth grill and all that stuff so, it's fun to go through these i have not done this a lot leather strive will find out eventually than i have every other version of that casting well i would imagine if you looked on ebay i just can't imagine it's that expensive on ebay Right? I just don't think so. And I don't think I have an extra. If I did, I would put it up because that's the only one I want one of. But when was that Super 396? I don't remember when it was. Like, like it gets older. It's older than 2018. I bet you go on eBay, you could see it. Um, so. And I will be putting up. I do have this extra one of these this in fact these two loose cars i will put up and i'm going to put up that honda s2000 that's loose um the only issue with this one i got it from a friend of mine and it doesn't the back wheel doesn't roll particularly well i don't know if they just riveted it too tight or something so it's really more of a display one see that just kind of went in tight so it might look like a low profile i don't kind of rolls but you can't really see here i can well i don't know how to do it but this this one rolls fine but this one doesn't but i will be putting that one up for sale so Hey, Chris Agri, how much? If I put it on eBay, I'll put it at a 99 cent bid. If I put it on my store, I'll put it up for what the fair price is. I'll look and see what other loose ones are selling for, and I'll put it around there. So where do I buy my cases from? I haven't bought any of these for a while, but I got I get them on eBay under creative options, thread organizers. But they were gone for a while, but I think they've just started production to get it. It appears so based on what you've seen, so. It's broke. I'll get rid of it for you. I know, I know. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I have a few extras that I need to get rid of or just throw in a bin. And then, yeah, then the next step, I think, will be to start uh, figuring out how I'm going to sell these and make them available. So, I will do that. All right, guys. Another boring chat video, but I, you know, I don't, if you don't, guys don't mind doing them, I don't mind, uh, if you guys don't mind watching them, I don't mind doing them. I don't know how many people will watch afterwards, but um, Kyle's asking a time frame. That's, I couldn't tell you. It won't be tomorrow, but it could be any time after that. Hopefully that makes sense. I just need to, there's so many cars. I mean, if I could get them all done in once, you know, like if I could transport you all to one room and I could have just a big table with all these out and you guys could buy what you want, I would do it in a heartbeat. But it's a tough job to to go through it to go through it all but i really do want these are such there's so many these cars are so fun and i know so many people want them and people have come to collecting and 
came in after some of these cars were released. And I really, I mean, I want the value for them. I think that's fair, but, um, so I'm not going to sell them all for a buck. I'll sell them for what they're worth. But, um, and if people want to say I'm a scalper for that, I guess holding on to cars for 10 years and then selling them, if that makes me a scalper, I guess I am. But, um, but I, you know, eventually you sell these things and I have a, the collection I want and I want to keep it strong. But, uh, when you have extras and you don't want them anymore and they're just taking up space, they're better served in someone else's collection. So you do the transaction and then that person's happy and you're happy. So, um, so I'll keep you guys, uh, I'll keep you guys informed of how that's going. When I put them up in the Lamley store on eBay, I will promise you I'll let you know. So what is my eBay? It's Iracema46, I-R-A-C-E-M-A-4-6, but there ain't nothing on it right now, and there won't be for a while. And I really, I, I'd actually prefer to do this through my store. So we'll see how that goes. So, all right, guys, I am going to head out again. I promise no more live feeds today, long, boring, organizational live feeds, and then D-Case unboxing tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Bye.